While I've never fantasized about being a woodsman out for revenge on a murderous rampage against the gang who left him for dead, I don't really know who has, Bloodroots sure makes that specific scenario a bloody great time. With a well-written revenge story as its wrapper, developer Paper Cult has delivered on a fast, furious, and fun action game that consistently finds new ways to surprisingly employ its simple setup. Bloodroots follows in the style of Hotline Miami and Ape Out Before It by presenting a seemingly straightforward premise. You, as Mr. Wolf, go through each level killing enemies with one hit and hoping not to be killed also with one hit. Kills can be chained together with grades awarded at the end of each level that frequently convince me to give levels another try in the hopes of bumping my C plus at least up to a B. What sets Bloodroots apart, and what Paper Cult makes great use of in each level's design, is the weapon arsenal Mr. Wolf has at his disposal. Pretty much everything. An axe with a heavy slice? Obviously a murder weapon. A light but deadly fence post that whacks an enemy? Murder weapon. A chain chomp homage that slingshots Mr. Wolf through the air from one enemy to the next? Yeah, that's definitely a murder weapon. A flimsy carrot? The deadliest of vegetables in town. It's something really fun you just don't see every day. Most levels, unless intentionally designed otherwise, are full of all of these and more improvisational weapons, and Bloodroots always felt like it gave me the freedom to wield whatever tool of destruction I deemed worthy for the task at hand. Replaying through whole levels, or even sections of them, usually revealed an ideal path with specific weaponry but I never felt like my weapon choices were restricted in any way if I wanted to stray from that. Still, finding either the optimal or at least a pretty solid way to chain attacks together through a level always felt rewarding. Bloodroots can look like chaos, but it's a controlled chaos I normally felt like I was dictating. But even when unexpected deaths came, and they did a plenty, every death felt like a learning experience. Enemy behaviors are consistent enough that mistakes almost always came because of my over-eagerness or lack of a plan. The only aspect that felt unfairly weighted against me was those darn icy patches. When every hit means doom, Mr. Wolf slipping and sliding occasionally felt brutally punishing just for the sake of it, and never all that fun, rather than an experience to learn from and master. Those small moments aside, Paper Cult continually finds new and creative ways to put its run-grab-kill gameplay to use in new and interesting scenarios. New weapons pop up periodically throughout the three-act, roughly eight-hour campaign, but it's the tried-and-true axes, swords, and carrots that became a joy to master and improvise with in one mission to the next. And those missions are wrapped in a gorgeous, stark aesthetic. Buildings, characters, and weapons are all brought to life by vibrant blocks of color, stark lines, and a variety of woodland, arid, and frozen climates. It's all backed by a thumping jam of a soundtrack that often acted like a renewing catalyst for my mayhem. Discovering new weapons was as fun as revealing where Mr. Wolf's quest would take me next, in part because its story creates an interesting world full of relationships between despicable people I wanted to know more about. And that's not even to mention the three main boss battles, which are all uniquely set up and a blast to master. They really pushed my precision and timing skills to the test, but always appropriately scaled to the levels that came before them. Even after completing it, I've continued trying to master Bloodroots' levels because the loop it introduces in its opening minutes remains fun all the way through its campaign. The variety of weaponry to master, some fantastic boss fights, and an overall immediacy to its action always had me coming back to try a level one more time. Aside from some slippery nuances in certain level designs and the somewhat predictable ending to the otherwise fun story, Paper Cult has crafted an absolutely bloody fun time. For more on Bloodroots, check out some s rank gameplay from our own Mitchell Saltzman, and for everything else in the world of carrot-related mayhem, you're already in the right woods, um, er, uh, place, IGN.